Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of uh, Biology and today we are jumping, we are running to another kingdom which is what? The kingdom Animalia, the animal kingdom, the largest, it is the world, it is the largest of all the world, of all the kingdom and the animal kingdom constitutes all animals, all what animals, whatever type and shape and structure, okay, I want to consider them what, under what, this what, animal what, kingdom, okay, and when we are done, I'm going to take questions from the old three schools and from what you have learned, okay, before we now start taking all the sub -phylums one after the other in a bit to make us what pass our exams in flying color okay when we are done with this now we're going to take questions from the old three schools jam up this this video itself is sponsored by the application to enable you to prepare for your examination the app has all you need it's a practice it's a cbt practice app it has all you need to succeed in your exam it has all the past questions from jam okay and it also has some wonderful feature designed to make you what study better like we have the classroom feature where you can study lecture notes and then take what tests after studying so what those lecture notes according to the jam syllabus all right so some of you underestimate the importance of your syllabus in your examination okay but of course that's be what it has that factor and what that factored in in the application okay we also have the question search feature okay so question search feature works by what you searching for what for a particular what topic and the question that has been set under those that topic from jam will come out for you to answer wonderful right then we have the utme challenge we know that some of you need that complete competitiveness for you to be able to work to be able to be very serious so we have organized a challenge every week saturday from 10 a.m for you to participate with work with your mates with other jambas that are writing jam you compete with them you win amazing prizes okay and of course apart from winning amazing prizes one of the most important reasons why we do that because we want you to get used to how jam set that question okay so the more you want to participate in the challenge every saturday till one week to the main jam exam it's a mock exam on the application okay and you are competing with your mate you are going to be seeing your results released every week okay so the more you are getting used to how jam set that question the more you are tracking your progress let's say in the first week challenge you score 200 the next one you score 220 the next one you score 240 then you see your mark your score increasing after every challenge you see that what you, your preparation is solid you yourself you'll be happy ah, i'm improving you will know you are improving but if your score is dropping i mean you know that man I need to work, study what harder. I need to be more aggressive in what in my study okay so also uh uh, uh you're getting to used to what how jam was said that question and of course you are what building confidence towards what the main exam all right so please make sure you download that application and once you have downloaded you need to activate as at time of shooting this video right now the activation fee is just three thousand naira. all right it will definitely increase in the future so focus on passing your exam at once leave the prize focus on passing your exam at once all right the, all the resources you need to pass your exam use it get them pass your study pass okay at this point in your life this jam period all right your major focus will be your exam if not you will not do very well all right so you cannot be serving what two masters you have heard that several all right so make sure you activate with that application after you have downloaded the app click on activate on the app and of course at the top you see where they wrote buy activation key all right click on buy activation key you see three options for payment you will see of course transfer to the hotel schools app account and also you also see what uh, payment to talk with your ATM. If I pay with your ATM online, okay, that that app will be automatically activated. But if you are what paying to transfer, you need to send the receipt of the payment. Okay, whatever bank you are using, you can use OP, you can use Bank Pay, you can use any bank from Nigeria. You can go to POS, take their account number to a POS. You the, you you give them the money. They will give you a printout. All right, after making the payment, you snap that printout, send to this number on WhatsApp zero nine one two one five one five two. Four six zero nine one two one five one five two four six. Okay, so now after you have sent your receipt, you'll be attended to manually from our what our support. Okay, so please do not joke with all with the application. It is all you need to succeed. Trust me. All right. So please get the application, get it activated, start practicing. Make sure you participate in all world, all of the challenges. Okay, on the application. Okay, now today we're looking at the kingdom of what animals and we say that. The kingdom of animals constitutes all of the animals, all animals. Okay, and we say the animal kingdom is the largest of all of what of all of the kingdom as classified by what ROH what we take. Her. All right. So we say what animals are multicellular eukaryotes. 
okay of course they have a definite nucleus and they have what membrane bound organelles okay they are eukaryotic and of course however like plants like plants they do not possess what chlorophyll animals do not have chlorophyll okay they do not have a chlorophyll and hence they cannot manufacture their own food they cannot perform what photosynthesis okay they what they do not possess chlorophyll or what a cell wall they do not possess possess what chlorophyll or a cell wall therefore members of the animal kingdom exhibit a mode of nutrition that we call heterotrophic okay we say there is a bit a mode of nutrition uh, of nutrition we call what the heterotrophic word nutrition get by what um organism into what depend on what on other what on other what animals or what for food and for for survival all right so they cannot manufacture their food they need to what depend on other what animals or what for food and what and survival they are heterotrophic okay now one when the body of an organism can be caught you need to understand the difference between radial symmetry and bilateral wall symmetry. Okay, now when the body of an organism can be cut into along its axis in any plane, in any plane, if it can be cut, if the body of an organism can be cut into along its axis in any plane to give two identical halves, to give two identical halves. Then the, the, they are said to be what radially symmetrical. We say it is what radial what radially symmetrical. If the body of an organism can be cut into along its axis in any plane in any angle, okay, to give two identical halves, they are said to be radially symmetrical. Okay. Now let us look at what bilateral symmetry. Now, when the body of an organism can be cut in only one plane. In only one plane, only one plane, okay, to give two identical halves, they are said to be what bilaterally was symmetrical. You must take note of that. So now the difference between what uh, radial symmetry and bilateral symmetry, of course, is that what the body of an organism in radia can be caught in what in any plane, in any angle, in any direction to give two identical halves. But for bilateral symmetry, it has to be what in only what one plane. Okay, you cut what when both of them can be cut, you cut that in only one plane to give two identical halves. All right, so please make sure you take note of what of this. There and what in your jump questions, there yeah, in your jump pass questions. So you must take note of this. Okay, different between radial symmetry and bilateral what symmetry. Okay, let's continue about the animal kingdom. The the acylomates are animals with no body cavity. The acylomates are animals with no what body what cavity. Now I'm going to tell you about what, what we call silom cavity. Silom cavity in what in the animal what kingdom. Okay. Now in the animal kingdom, based on whether an animal has what silom or not, they are what group into what three. We have what the acylomates, which we are talking about now. We have the pseudocylomates, and they also have what the silomates. Okay. The acylomates. The pseudocylomate and what and the silomate. Now the silomate itself, the silomate cavity or the silom cavity is a fluid filled space between the body wall, right? Between what the body wall and the what and the alimentary what canal. Okay, it is what a fluid filled space between what the body wall and what and the alimentary what canal. Now what the silom does, it is it houses or it accommodates. It accommodates and houses and protects the internal organs of what of that what animal. Okay. Now, in some animals, the silom cavity has what you call the mesothelium. All right. Why in some like the mollusks? Okay, it doesn't have. Okay, it is not what differentiated. Okay. So now, based like I say, based on whether an organism or an animal has what silom or not, they are differentiated into three in the animal kingdom. Like we also have what like we have this acylomate. We have the pseudocylomate and then we have what the silomate. Okay, so the acylomate do not have what silom. They do not have silom. The pseudocylomate, okay, they have what to call false silom. Why the silomate have what silom? Okay, now I just want to, to I just wanted to establish that for you. Then of course the acylomate are animals with no body what cavity. The acylomate they are animals that have no what body what cavity. Examples of acylomate are. We have what sponges, sponge, sponges. The example of acylomates, we have uh, uh, comb jellies. Okay, even jellyfish. Jellyfish is an example of of an acylomate. Sponges, 
comb jellies, uh, jellyfish, even platyhemites, platyhemites, uh, reborn worms. They are examples of what? Of, uh, of uh, acylomates. They are animals that have no what? Body cavity. Simple as ABC. Acylomates are animals that have no body cavity. Why were these two? Those acylomates are animals with force. We say they have false body cavity. Okay, acylomates have no body cavity. Okay, pseudocylomates are animals with false body cavity. They have false body cavity, or uh, white silomates are organisms with true body cavity. True body cavity. So you must take note of silomates. Okay, pseudocylomates. Okay, this is a so silomate and what? And I see what lomates. Okay, acylomates are animals with no body cavity. So the silomates are animals with false body cavity. Examples of a example of a silomate is a round worm. A round worm, round worms, they are what pseudocylomates. They have false body cavity. Now, uh, uh, why what uh, silomates are organizing with true body cavity? Example of silomates are annelids, like the uh, annelids, mollusks, anthropods, even some reptiles. They are what? They, are, they have what? They are silomates. They have what? True body cavity, they have what is silon. Okay, now animals are classified into two basically we have what the vertebrates and the invertebrates. The vertebrates are those that have what backbone and what and spinal colon. Vertebrates are animals that have backbone and spinal colon. Why what the invertebrates do not have what backbone? Okay, so and of course the invertebrates include the uh, plurifera, that is the sponges. Okay, we have the col uh, co uh, um, cholentrate or cholentrates, we have the platyhemites. We have what the nematodes, we have the annelids, we have the mollusks, the anthropods, and the echinodermata. All right. So all these are what they are what they are invertebrate. They do not have what they do not have backbone. Okay. Now, in a, uh, basically, like I said, the animal kingdom itself is divided into ten subphylums. Into ten subphylums. So let us let us write those phylums out. The animal kingdom is divided itself into what ten sub Phylums. Okay, so number one, we have the the porifera, like the what, like the sponges, the porifera. One, we have the uh, okay, porifera. Okay, two, we have the coelentrata, coelentrates. Okay, that is T R A T A, or sometimes we call them the nideria. We call them the nideria, nideria. Okay, this is a C before the end, please. The Nide we call them what? The Nidarians. Okay, Nidarians. They also have what? The Platyhemites. This is the animal kingdom. Platyhemites. Okay, we have the Nematodes. Nematoda. Nematodas. They have what? The Annelids. Annelida. Okay, these are what? Five Porifera, Colentrats, Platyhemites. Nematodes, Annelida, we have the Molus, Mollusca, we have Anthropoda, uh, uh, that is number six now. Okay, we have what? Uh, Anthropoda, okay, number seven, we have what? Mollusca, we have, we have what? Codata, okay, we have what? Um, uh, Hemicodata, we also have what? Hemicodata, Hemicodata. Data okay, the main one, uh, porifera, uh, colentrata, platyhemites, nematoda, annelida, anthropoda, um, mollusca, codata, hemicoda, hem uh, hemicodata, also our echinodermata, okay, echinodermata, dermata. Okay, so these are all what, uh, these are the subphylums of what of the animal or kingdom. Then my kingdom is the largest kingdom, all right, of all what, of all the kingdoms as classified by Arrow H. Whitaker. Okay, Arrow H. What? Whitaker. All right, so the animal kingdom is the largest. It can be divided into 10 subphylums. So I'm saying porifera like the sponges, according to the sponges. The poriferas, okay? We have what they call uh, called interata. We have the platyhemites, nematodas or the nematodes, the annelids or the annelidas, the anthropodas, mollusca, the codata, hemicodata, and what? And the echinodermata. So in the next what ensuing episode, we're going to be talking about what all of them one after the other. But before we go, I'm going to what take what past questions from the old three schools jump have to drive our point what home. All right, to show you that what all these questions do come out in what in your exam. And of course, 
most importantly most importantly make sure you like this video because if you do not like the video other students will not find this video easily so please like the video and of course make sure you are subscribing to this channel subscribing is free it's f-r-o-e-e -E, free okay it's just for you to it's for us to notify you whenever what a new video is released just, so just click on that red subscribe button if you have not done that before click on the red subscribe button right now and make sure you keep sharing all these videos now let me get the o3 school jump app for my phone and then we what we run we take what the question so i'm launching the app on my phone right now uh, we're having what a 2000 and a 2000 question year 2000 number six they say the silom is absent in the class of animals tamed the silom is absent in the class of animals tamed they say what a mollusk b reptilia c anthropoda d colenterata okay when we're listing what examples of what of uh, of a, 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 a silomates, okay? Those animals that have what they have still true what silom, all right? They have what true body cavity. We said what examples included what the annelids, included what the mollusks, included what the anthropods, okay? Even some reptiles do have what silom, but we do not talk about what they call the colentrats. So the right answer that is always colentrata, all right? It is D. They do not have what a true body cavity, all right? So now, Let's see another question. Uh, that is 2006. Uh, let's check another question. Is it the question start feature? Um, then now let's see 2000. Okay, that's 2000 question six. 2008 question nine. 2008 question nine. They say radial symmetry is a feature common to. They say radial feature. Radial feature. Okay. All right. You know what radial symmetry is? Where the body can be cut in any plane or in any direction. They say it's a feature common to they say A, platyhemitis. Say B, nematodes. They say C, cholentrate. They say D, anthropods. And what? And the right answer there is what is uh, option what? C, D, what? The cholentrates. All right. They say radial symmetry is the basic body plan in which the organ can be divided into similar by passing a plane at any angle along the central axis. And it is exhibited by what? By called land traits. All right, now let's see another question. A 2023 20, question, model 4, number 39. I say, which of the following groups of animals are classified as vertebrates? Which of the following group of animals are classified as vertebrates? A, insects. B, reptiles. C, jellyfish. D, flatworms okay vertebrates those animals that have a backbone okay and what and spinner what colon and of course you can see that what reptiles was do have what do have what a uh, backbone okay so they are what call what uh vertebrates all right so please we are going to what uh in the next episode start we're talking about what each of these was so finance one after the other and before we are done you will fully understand what the animal world kingdom and i would love to make sure that i love to see you what and in those one, in those episodes, I would love to see you liking this video. I'd like to see you subscribing to this channel. I'd like to see you sharing. All right. And make sure you download the Auto Discourse app and start what practicing today. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.